Okay, so once you have your shape completed, we need to save it to where it can be printed. So we're going to go over to iPro. We're going to hover over Save As. Notice I'm not clicking, I'm hovering over Save As. Just like you can hover over all the other stuff. I'm not clicking. Hover over Save As. And then I can scroll over here and click on Save Copy As. So that's what I'm going to select. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and change it to an STL file. So down here it's Save As Type. I don't want to save it as an IPT. We are not saving as an IPT. I'm going to change it to an STL file. So now that we've changed that to an STL file, we want to name it correctly. How I want you to name it is by the color that's on this page uh, where you found this PowerPoint. There's also a slide with the colors. You will title it that first. So say you wanted white. Okay, so we're going to put white. And I want you to put your last, your, uh, last name. I want you to put the number for whatever period you are. Okay, and then I want a quick, very simple, try to sum up your piece in one or two words. And so I'll put um, in keychain. So that way I have all the information I need for, for your part. I know that you want it white. I know what your last name is. I know what period you are in and what your object was. So once you have all that, we have it saved as an STL file. The next step before you click on anything is you're going to go to options. When that opens up, we want to change. Yours won't say units in an inch. Most likely to say millimeter, centimeter. If it does say inch, great. But we want to make sure we're saving this in an inch format. Okay, this is what will make sure I can scale your object to fit the build plate. Now as a reminder, if your shape I feel is too big when we scale it, when I scale it, I will still scale it down some. So I use the two by two by two as a kind of an example. So if you're thinking, you know, that's about eight cubic inches, which remember is length times width times height. So if your shape's going to be much bigger than that, I'm going to be scaling it down anyway. But this, if you've scaled it correctly and you've made your sizes, this will allow me when I import it into MakerWare to really uh, quickly scale it to the right size that you wanted. So once that's all done, you're going to click Save. You want to make sure you pick whatever file. And in this case, you know, you'll probably still want to put it in your network file it's not quite as crucial because it's just a saving step and then you're going to instantly email it to me you if you don't want to log in you can save to the desktop but if you want to make sure that if you send it wrong you could send it to me again I put it in your network okay for my case I'm just going to put it in my desktop folder and that's where I'm going to save it now the next step you will need to be logged in to Google and so for our sake it's probably easiest if you were just logged into Google Drive so here's my Google Drive up here there'll be this little 3x3 three three box these apps for Google that's where you're gonna click and you're gonna select mail okay when you select mail that's gonna open up your school email chances are you're gonna have tons of emails in there because every time a teacher has ever shared something with you in Drive you got an email. So once you open that, right over here is where you're going to compose your email. So you'll click compose. You're going to type my name, which is Brandon Crawford. Notice I pop up pretty quick, even if you just type in BR space CRA, there I am. You just click on it. So then the subject would be your. Um, 3D object. Don't worry about putting a text box, but you're going to attach a file. So remember, you've got to remember where you save that file. Remember where I saved mine? I saved mine to the desktop folder. So if I go down here, 
I will find White, Crawford, One, Noblesville Keychain. I'm going to double click that or single click and click Open. Double click it. It's now in the email. I would send that. And you'll notice real quick here that I'll get an email um, that'll pop up. So this would say your name. And I would see that you have a 3D object that you've attached to me. And there was where it would be. I could download them really quick and move on. So that's how you're going to save and send me the object that you want printed. Uh, so that should be all you need in order to get that accomplished.